Criminal justice reform continues to trend as one of the most important issues for Americans and Hoosiers. For the first time on our show, we're talking live with two Indiana judges on the strategic plan that they have to try to improve a piece of that, our court system and co-chairs of this plan, Grant County Judge Mark Spitzer and LaPorte Superior Court Judge Richard Stahlbrink joining us live to answer my question. Judges, your honors, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning, thanks for having us. Good Absolutely, George, Judge Spitzer, I'll start with you and, and take us through this. Um, this is such a big issue. We have more than 2.2 million people incarcerated in the United States. They obviously go through our court system. Why is this such an important issue for you all to take on right now? Well, this is a continuation of something that we started in 2008, and it was to be not just uh, reactive, but proactive in Indiana with regards to how the courts operate looking forward. And so we take a segment of time 10 years and we say what do we we believe the courts are going to look like over the next 10 years and what are the important issues that we need to address and um, so we, we we went through the strategic planning process we identified seven different topics that we wanted to address um, and some of them I think are, are very um, probably top of mind to people who, who are viewing the program right now um, and and, and um, sought to um, come up with a plan in terms of how we might improve the system and, and the experience of Hoosiers as they come to our courthouses. Yeah, and Judge Stahlbrink, there are a lot of people that have a lot of opinions about what happens in, in, in our courts, and a lot of people think that there are things that aren't fair. I know one of the points is to have greater accountability. Can you tell me why you all feel that that is something that is needed, and what do you all mean by having greater accountability? Well, I, th I think that, that, that goes to multiple levels. Um, when you look at what's going on nationally today, when you look at what's going on in our courts, we started this project about three years ago. Um, and when we looked at uh, topics that we chose, access to justice, making sure everybody has an equal opportunity to be in court and security issues, making sure people that come to court are safe and are accountable for both us and to us to them, um, we were three years ahead of what's going on today. So I think when you look at where we're at and what we are looking at, it's important to know that uh, we as Hoosier courts are, have been looking forward at these issues and, and, and going back and getting ready for these long before the, the issues that are before us today have happened. And I think that's when Judge Spitzer talks about being proactive instead of reactive. Um, that's what we're looking at and that's what this paper is about, looking forward to the next 10 years. And I know a lot of people might find kind of this discussion boring, right? But it is something that is extremely important. This is affecting millions of people, then that affects all of their families. We're talking about little kids and, 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 and parents and families. I want to talk about this judicial selection, trying to make this less partisan. And, and Judge Spitzler, you can take that. Why is that something that you feel is in this top list of things that need to be tackled? Well, I think if we're to accomplish anything in the courts, you know, and we, we and, and for example, if we were to accomplish things like behavior change that results in mm -hmm. um, decreased recidivism, has to be a confidence um, that the courts operate nonpartisan in the nonpartisan fashion, and so our what we're urging in um, this paper is that um, the state consider moving towards a nonpartisan selection system. Uh, take the politics out of um, courts as much as it, um, we're able to do that, so that the um, the citizens can have confidence that decisions that are being made are not being made because of R's and D's, but are being made. Um, based upon the facts and the law uh, before the judges. We really appreciate both of your time. I know you guys have, you know, crazy busy schedules with the courts. We do appreciate your time and joining us live to have a, 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 an important conversation. Thank you both. Thank you for having us. Absolutely.